What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. On today's episode, I am gonna be bringing the specialist in from Kaleidoscape, the ultimate movie player. You guys may not know all of the detailed information and some of the super techie stuff about Kaleidoscape. For anybody out there who may be interested in purchasing, I think that you're gonna find this video very informative. I'm gonna bring them onto a Zoom, and we're gonna take a long, deep dive into some of the reasons that you may want to consider buying the ultimate movie player for your home theater. Let's get into it. Welcome back, Dream Media family. Today, we are going to be taking a deep dive into Kaleidoscape's technical details. For all of you guys out there that are considering purchasing Kaleidoscape, it is the number one best way to watch high res movies without a doubt. So I have Andre here. He is the technical specialist with Kaleidoscape and I have Kellen with Dream Media, our national sales director on and Kellen is going to grill Andre on all of these details. I'll pass it off to you, Kellen. Hey, thanks, Zach. I'll, I'll go light on Andre. Uh, but no, I, uh, really just wanted to hop on here. And, and again, thank you guys for um, showing some time and, and and making that time with us today. So Andre, I know um, we're just going to kind of dive into it and answer some of the questions that I get on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but I think one of the main things that a lot of people still think um, that when they're, when they're first here, Kaleidoscape is it is a streaming uh, type of device. So if you can kind of dig into that a little more on how it is not streaming rather than you are playing back files that you have previously downloaded and, and kind of talk through that. Sure. So yeah, what streaming really means in terms of today's video is means that you're, you've paid a subscription to some company and they have a big server or set of servers somewhere in the world. And when you want to watch something, you connect up to their server and they start playing video and that video comes across the internet frame by frame and shows up on your display device. And so all of that gets impacted by their uh, head end capability, all of the internet things that are in between them and you, and then the capability of your network within your house. And so that can all have, you know, different impacts on the, the resulting picture and audio quality. With Kaleidoscape, we have our head end where we've got lots of files with lots of movies on it, 14,000 of them. And when you purchase a movie, that movie gets sent to you as a file package that gets downloaded onto the Kaleidoscape system. And so all of the internet stuff happening in between us and you is kind of immaterial. The only thing that, that it really affects is how fast that file gets to you. So if you've got a gigabit ethernet and you buy a 4K movie, it's going to get to you in about 10 minutes. If you've got 300 meg internet, and uh, then that movie is going to get to you in maybe half an hour. So that, you, know, you work around that. But the key thing is once the movie is downloaded onto your system, when you hit play, it plays instantly. It plays at full resolution video and audio. So you've got lossless audio, visually lossless video, reference quality, and you always get that same quality all the time. And uh, if you lose internet, uh, service. If you're in the middle of a storm, or if you happen to be out far off in the into the woods with your system, and you don't have good internet service, that has no impact on the quality of the picture or sound. Great, yeah. And I know a lot of people too. They they think, well, it looks fine, right? Streaming from Netflix whenever I'm watching it on my phone. But whenever you're trying to blow up that compressed streaming file on a 120 inch to larger. Um, those those artifacts and compression gets a lot more um, visual. Um, and I think, the, you know, you lose a ton of audio too. I think that's where a lot of the companies, whenever they are compressing it, they, they compress a lot of the audio first and foremost to get that file size down. Well, it's actually the, the format, the streaming formats have to use a, obviously a smaller audio package just to, to take up less space. And so any streaming system is providing the audio in a Dolby digital format, which is, again, a highly compressed uh, format with uh, a limited number of channels. 
it may still have Atmos um, authoring to it, which the Atmos part of it just means that there's uh, metadata in the signal that allows your decoding system to, to know that sounds in the picture in, are supposed to appear from certain places in the room. So a helicopter's coming from back here and a car's driving from over here. But, but it doesn't mean that there's still going to be any more sound because it's got Atmos. Whereas with Kaleidoscape, we're providing the Dolby True HD format, which is the lossless version of this. And so it's on average about 10 times the amount of data and could be even more. And so uh, you, know, you are going to get more sound. You'll get the same directional stuff, but the directional information is actually going to be more accurate too, just because you are able to, to provide more data about the the content. So it's better quality sound and just a better overall experience. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I think that that's probably my number one question that I get asked is, well, how does that compare or how is that different than what I do now with streaming? Another, another question that I get is, uh, you know, a customer may have already made the leap into Cloud Escape a few years ago. So now their question becomes, okay, why is this the Stratos so much better or what makes these Terra, um, the, the C player, why did they split up the storage between the player and the storage now? Will that work with the, the system that I've already purchased that's older? So I, I guess if you can kind of dig into that and dive into the differences of with Strato or some of the older Premier items, how, how would those work if, if you had a Premier with the newer Strato? and, and kind of just walk through that a little more in depth, because I don't think there's a whole lot of information on that out there uh, on the internet, really. Sure, there's probably not a huge amount because the Premier system you know, we introduced almost 20 years ago, you know, when it actually started selling. And, um, you know, and we started selling the Strato system uh, about eight years ago. And so, you know, people have been making the transition over that time, but, you know, a Premier system was, state of the art at the time in the, you know, the original one was standard definition. You were loading DVDs into your system. And then uh, when the Blu-ray format came along that we upgraded the Premiere system to be able to play and import Blu-ray discs. But in that's where the Premiere system stops is at HD quality. So that means that your on-screen menu is HD only and the movies that you can watch are gonna be at best HD quality. And so what the Strato system gives you on top of that is that it's a 4K based system. So you're always outputting uh, 3840 by 2160 pixels. And that's coming if you have a, a typical system that can handle the full 18 gigabit bandwidth, then you're gonna get that at 60 frames a second all the time. So the menus move really smoothly and you've got great color, great detail on the menus. And you're obviously, able to watch the movies that are available in full 4K HDR quality. And we've got about 1,700 uh, movies on our system that are full 4K HDR. And uh, about a third of those are not available anywhere else for um, in 4K HDR. There's no disc format available. The only place you can get it is streaming. And you're not going to get the same level of quality we just talked about. So. Uh, so there's also, you know, the newer products have newer processors and, you know, a bunch of other things that just make things work faster, better, smoother, cleaner. Um, so, the, you know, there's some features that are different and improved in the Strato system, but the, the biggest key thing is about being able to, to see higher quality video. And the, the secondary part of that is instead of now bringing disks to the system and importing it from there, which the studios don't want anyone to do anymore, that the movies are all purchased from our store and downloaded onto that system. So you've got consistent quality also. And, um, but the other benefit of that is the, is the store experience in itself because it provides a great set of tools for discovering new movies and, uh, and new content that you wanna watch, just some of it based on stuff that you've seen. So if you're in the store and you come across a movie that you like, and you like the director, you can easily go and search our store and find all the other movies that director's done. And maybe that gives you something new that you can watch this weekend. 
So those are, are some of the differences. And so for people who have the Premier system and are looking to migrate to, uh, to add the 4K capability, we have a couple of different ways you can do that. So we've got one thing is just to do a straightforward trade up. So we've got a trade up program that provides a 25% discount of swapping an old server for a new server and an old player for a new player. And that just moves you from the old world into the, the new world. But um, people have large collections in a lot of those movies, uh, the movie studios haven't put out in uh, for digital downloads or, or 4K or anything yet. And um, so they may not be available from the store at this moment and you wanna keep access to those. So what we have is a product called a CoStar, which is mainly a little HDMI switch and some software that goes along with that, that then allows you to connect the Premier Class player to a Strato player. And what that allows is, is to join all of your movie collection from both sides of the, the system into one big interface. So what it results in is on the screen, you're looking at the output of the Strato. So all your menus are coming from the Strato, 4K, great color, great, um, you know, faster motion, smoother motion and everything. But when you click on a movie that's stored on the Premiere side, then the Strato player tells the Premiere player to play that movie and the switch automatically changes over and puts that, uh, that content up onto the screen. So it becomes seamless but it allows you to keep imported movies and they may be you know, foreign language films and stuff that you picked up elsewhere. It might be national parks, DVDs that you picked up along the way and you wanna keep uh, having access to that content. So we, we try and be flexible and, and absolutely always make sure that our original customers are still able to take advantage of what they've always had, but also move smoothly into the new world. So in other words, they, if they do have an older Premiere system that's not a Strato, even the older Stratos, they can all link together and become this lump sum, if you will, to where you can have all of your movies that you've downloaded from uh, the living room Strato, the theater Strato. You can all still access that as one unit. If you have an older Premiere system, you buy the CoStar, and it basically just brings you up to the new uh new system to where you can still interface with all of your content in one in one place. Yep. And and when you do that too, that we have a, also a program called the Disc to Digital program. Right. And so mm -hmm. you know we look at all the movies that you own already on disc. And if you would like to upgrade those from DVD quality or Blu-ray quality to an HD download or even a 4K download if it's available, we will let you buy that at a discount because we know you've already paid for the disc and own the movie on disc so you look under our digital offers and that'll show you uh what the the pricing could be which is as low as sometimes like a dollar 72 for some movies to uh to get the digital version but it's a significant discount so it helps people who again have the the legacy premiere systems and want to move to the strato system but also want to get it the advantage of improving the quality of movies that they already own and love Right. And I, and I think this brings up one thing that I think is really cool with Cladescape is, you know, you guys have systems that are 10 plus years old. Um, I think you said the premiere is pushing 20 years old. Yeah. So um, I think something that's unique with Cladescape is a lot of other electronic companies. Yeah, they may have a two year warranty. Some have a three. You guys have a five year warranty. So um, can you dig on the actual warranty details a little bit other than other than the five year? Yep, so um, so Premier products also had three year warranties, but the Strata products when they came out had a three year warranty, but about almost two years ago, what we started to look at was the reliability of those products and, and what the failure rate, and for the most part, it was less than 1%. And we started to realize that we could actually extend the warranty on the Strato products, so we extended it to five years. So that warranty exists uh, from the time that we ship it from our uh, facility is when the warranty starts and stays with the product. So even if, uh, if that gets transferred to somebody else, the warranty, whatever remaining warranty is on that five years transfers with the product. 
Awesome. Yeah. And, that, and I think that's, uh, that's unique in itself as well. So that's, uh, that's cool. So uh, kind of going back to how the customers are enjoying the content on the Classscape units, a lot of customers, well, I shouldn't say a lot. I keep saying that um, quite a few customers that I spoken to have said, you know, Hey, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and download hundreds and hundreds of movies. I may just want to rent um, a movie and then play it back in its best form because I'm not just going to rewatch the same movie and over and over. So, what is the best system for someone that is just looking to possibly rent their movies to to enjoy in their theater? So, if you don't expect to own a lot of movies, then start with a six terabyte Terra and a Strato C because that gives you space for up to 104K movies but is the, basically the entry level point for our Strata system. And that gives you access to the, the rental system, which is not available on the Premier side. So you need to have a Strata system to be able to do that. It allows you to go onto the store and uh, probably two thirds or more of the movies that we offer on the store are available for rent. The rental uh, price is about $7.95 for everything I've ever seen, I think it's been $7.95. And so uh, that gives you the typical rental window. So from the day that you rent it and say go, you've got 30 days to watch it, start watching it. And from the, the time that you start watching it, you've then got 24 hours to watch it as much as you want. Go back and forth, pause and stop. And then um, at, within that 30 days, at any point within that 30 days when you watch the movie, if you decide that you, uh, that you like it so much that you do want to own it, then you can purchase it and half of the, the amount that you paid for the rental will get credited toward the sale. Awesome. And, and going into the sales portion, cause I, I know I made this mistake when I um, dug into purchasing all the movies and loading them up, you know, and, and uh, digging into that. I know we spoke on this yesterday, but a little bit, but uh, that is one thing that I always pass on to the customers as a little insider info is movies will go on sale on Kaleidoscape. So purchase all the movies you, I guess, quote unquote, can't live without day one. But um, I think that is a, one thing that you guys do very well is, is put movies that are on sale going on with the, the theme of current events. So if like, there's a new, I know the, the one that I always think of is the Batman movies, you know, I purchased dark Knight. Dark Knight Rises and everything like that. Well, two weeks later, the new Batman movie came out. So then all of the Batman movies were then at a significantly very low price. So uh, that is one thing that I do pass on to customers of, of mine that purchase the Classscape system. But is there any more kind of cool tricks and tips that are inside the Classscape system? I know we spoke on the wish list. Um, is there anything that you could pass on to, to people that may not know some of these things? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, there, there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve on how to, to best use the, the system in a bunch of ways, but, uh, but movie pricing is definitely a part of that as you found. So um, yeah, the, I mean, we constantly are working with our partners of the movie studios to provide promotional uh, benefits to our customers our mutual customers. You know, so the pricing is still set by the movie studios, but you know, so some of it comes from us, like that kind of situation when uh, when a new Batman or anything in the series comes out, that that we'll you know see the value of that because there's people who maybe saw the first two movies in the series years ago in the movie theater and then saw another one on video, but want to just have that all as part of their collection. So got the new version, so you'd be able to order them all. We put them on a, on a some sort of promotional discount so that it makes it a little more cost effective to do that. But there's another thing that we do that's actually pretty cool, which we have what's called super bundles. And what that means is within maybe a series of movies, you've got Harry Potter series may have seven uh, movies, I think, in it. And you actually own two of those, but you want to, to get more of those. And so that you can go into the uh, into the bundle and pick if as long as you order whatever the minimum quantity is typically three if you order three movies out of the set then they're at a significantly reduced price and that's something that you can't get 
from any other uh, movie seller. That sometimes they'll give you, you can buy like all of the Toy Stories, but that's the only choice. You can buy one or all, or we let you choose the ones that you care about, which is really important for things like the Bond series because there's 30 some movies yeah. there. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, maybe they can't afford to buy them all at once. Yeah, it definitely took advantage of the James Bond. And then I think when the Indiana Jones came out, I was like, yeah, I got to get those because those are classics. So, yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, well, the other thing we talked about was be, since the promotions you know, are, you know, there's no schedule that's published for when they're going to be. I don't know when they're going to be. Um, but you see movies that come, become available that are, are available or that, you know, that you think you want to own. We have what's called a wish list feature. And so when you're looking at the movie, looking at the details, you can click on the little star uh, in the corner and that adds it to your wish list or there's actually a button that says add to wish list. You add that to your wish list and that becomes a really simple way of when next week, when the, you know, whatever the special pricing movies come out, some sort of grouping, uh, like, you know, we obviously had one just before the holidays for Christmas related movies. And then we had some January winter sales. And so it's just some group of movies that are all somewhat related. You can look into that and then <clears throat> filter it on your wish list. And you can see why you're looking through there, the ones that are marked there on your wish list. So you, you can see, oh yeah, I wanted to buy this movie and look, it's on sale that right now. So go ahead and order it at that point. So it's a you know, great way to just keep track of movies that you know that you want to own at some point, but for whatever reason, aren't ready to buy it uh, at the moment. Got it. Got it. Um, and I think an another important thing with that is, you know, just trying to be patient for, for sales and things like that. But then I think you guys do a good job as well of being able to pre-order the movie. So I know we talked a little bit about how long it takes to download the movie and getting everything set to enjoy that movie. But one, one thing that I, uh, that I do that I also tell customers is you can also, or someone that is uh, maybe brings that up as a, a potential issue, right? Maybe I don't want to wait 10 minutes to download the movie. That's never been an issue once you live with it, because you learn to live with the, with the Cladoscape if you're using it as your main movie source. But um, you can, you know, one thing, get on your phone app, download it while you're at lunch or at dinner, you know, uh, on the ride home, your wife can be picking out the movie, something like that. Um, and then a, another great thing is the pre-orders. You guys, you know, even right now, there's movies in the theaters that just came out in the theaters. You can go ahead and pre-order. So um, maybe I don't want to go to the theater to see it. I'd rather watch anything <laughs> in here um, <laughs> theater but um yeah i think the the pre-ordering situation is great too because as soon as it's available to download you're asleep you wake up the next morning it, it's ready to rock so um i think that's one unique uh feature that that's uh, awesome as well not to mention some of the automation things that you can do a deep dive um you know and i know you guys have partnered with several brands stewart sony things like that but one was lutron and so when you are you know watching a movie you can press play well as soon as you press play maybe the lights or however you have it scheduled maybe that scene will start to wherever the lights are at now they dim down to nothing when the movie starts you press pause the lights come back on uh when the you know you the movie's over the lights kind of slowly bring back up so is there any other automation things uh, that you could kind of share how you guys partner with other brands and things like that well yeah that's one of the the unique features of a kaleidoscape system as well is the metadata that we build into each of the movies so uh and it allows for that you know automation and think of it as customizing it allows you as the integrator to customize this for a particular uh, particular customer. So uh, one of the things that you mentioned was the lighting and shading thing. So that's especially important today because not everybody has a dedicated theater room. So some people are using family room or whatever for, uh, for their movie watching as well. And so there's probably windows there. So you can tie in uh, your powered shades to that as well. And so the metadata triggers that we put into the movie are, when it's not playing, which would be either in a menu or uh, or paused or whatever, and then um, the movie is playing, 
The movie is in intermission, which is another uh, kind of unique feature that we have. And then the end credits. So, you know, in terms of a timeline, you come in, you know, you get ready to watch the movie, you press your power button and your theater stuff all turns on and the lights come up, the, the projector heats up the uh, and the audio turns on. And then you go and you sit down and you pick a movie off the menu and you hit play. When the movie starts playing, that tells your control system to uh, that you're about to watch a movie. And so you've set a preset cue for that, which is like you said, probably lights all the way off, or maybe you have some little dim sconces in the in the room, whatever you you know your the decorator tastes allow. But then, right. yeah. So then, when in the middle of the movie, when you need to uh, use the restroom or get another beer or get some more popcorn, it it's kind of rude to just turn on all the lights so you have to jump out of the room. So we have this intermission feature where you can press the intermission button and that puts up the the uh, box cover view up on the screen, pauses the movie, but you can set a different lighting cue. So it maybe just turns up some footlights on the stairs or in the aisles, just a, a little soft lighting so you can find your way out without tripping, but doesn't just blast everybody uh, you know, while you're waiting yeah. for someone to go out. And then you hit play again, it goes back to, to the play format. And then when you, whenever you reach the, the beginning of the end credits, that also sets a trigger that uh, can make it your theater work just like a commercial theater. That you know, whenever the com the credits come up in a regular theater, then the lights start to come up because they know some people don't care and they're going to run out of the room. So we actually allow you to set a lighting cue for that as well. Which, you know, the best choice I think for that is just a slow ramp, maybe like a, a two or three or five minute ramp, so the lights start to fade up. So that as the, the credits get done and you're you're ready to to move on to, with your night, that uh, the lights come up and it's not another jarring thing where you have to wait and stop the movie and the lights come flying up and everybody gets find, find the remote on the lighting, turn it back up. Yeah, it just all is yep. seamless. Yep. So and um, then it, and also so if you've got a uh, masking screen, then we put in mm, it, yep. what the actual aspect ratio is of every movie. And so we feed that to a control system as well. So if you, especially if you've got a two, three, five native screen and then the movie comes up, that's going to be uh, 16 by nine. We send that to the, uh, to the control system and you can bring in the masking on the sides of the screen. Same you know, the other way around. If you've got a 16 by nine screen and you're watching the two, three, five movie, then you can have masking come in on the top and bottom. And, uh, and if you've got, uh, even more flexible, like four-way masking. You can set that for four by three when you're watching Casablanca and and all those things. So it's very flexible to give you you know the best experience because the masking helps with the apparent contrast on the screen uh, because your eyes aren't getting that the extra light from the uh, the exposed areas of the screen. Awesome, awesome, yeah. And I, I mean, I just absolutely love my classcape. I don't I don't want to watch anything. You know, wife's are, she'll come in here and we'll sit there and thump their stuff on Netflix. And I'm like, let's just watch some of our favorite scenes from a movie. So we'll run a script or just pick a pick a scene from a movie. I know we uh, we do that quite often. I think that's another cool feature of, you know, you guys already you can you can pick your own favorite scenes from a movie. There's a little bit more involved with, you know, you having to time that and say, hey, I want to start a scene here and, and manually do that. But I think you guys do an excellent job of go ahead and picking out those key scenes that are maybe there's, you know, a lot of stuff going on and um, everything like that. So uh, I think that the scenes are a really cool feature as well that you yeah, guys do. And so the scenes are the one thing. So with every movie that our content team has picked out key scenes that are either, you know, favorites that, that people love to watch over and over or things that are that are very particularly uh, important to the movie, so it helps to, to sort of watch a synopsis of the movie if you just jump through the scenes. But um, but the other thing that we do is movies that have music in them, not just concerts, concerts of course, but also movies like uh, Greatest Showman or Bohemian Rhapsody that have songs embedded in those that you want to just be able to see those songs. We list those all out too in a separate songs menu, and so you can just jump to uh, to your favorite song. And it's a great thing when you have friends and family over and you just want to show them the system. They, they have a few minutes, you want to show them how cool things look and sound. 
you can just jump to right. you know songs are visceral for people in a very short uh, segment right right and i know there's uh i guess one thing that uh, i forgot to mention um was the the updates to the movies as well so i think that's also very unique in the fact that you buy the movie that came out on a disc i mean like they're not going to send you another disc in the mail like oh hey sorry we updated the movie um with uh, uh, you know better audio or a new audio format or things like that so um i i know that every once in a while i'll get a update that a movie has and an upgrade to it maybe it's the audio has gotten uh, a better audio source or maybe the video um, has better encoding or something like that so can you dig into a little bit of what those updates actually are sure you know and part of it you know stems from the fact that we're the first uh, resource to get a movie that comes out after it's been in the theater so when, once a movie is released in the theater, the first place you're going to see it after that is going to be on Kaleidoscape. And during the pandemic, especially when studios, when there weren't theaters to go to, and um, studios were releasing movies for the theater and on the at home at the same time, that you know that they were pushing stuff out as quick as possible. And so sometimes not all the audio formats, not all the subtitles were there, and uh, so. The updates, like you talked about, allow us to say that we push out a version of the movie that just came out three weeks ago, and we put it out with the uh, the 5.1 Dolby soundtrack and the DTSX format. But then, uh, you know, three or four weeks later, the studio is able to release to us the Atmos track, and so we will just post that as an update to the to the movie, and you'll get a notification in your phone app. You'll get it on screen uh, and on your in your store on uh, that will tell you, hey, you've got an update available, and you can click into that. Takes you into the store, and then while you're in the store, it you click into that movie, and it'll tell you what was updated also. So it'll say that in, you know new audio track and Atmos track was added, or um, or maybe yeah you know, that that there is a new uh, encoding that's been done to just improve the the picture quality because they've adjusted color or something on it. And sometimes it's also that um, things like, I think a Star is Born, that, that they added an extended version of the movie. And Sony just uh, pushed that out as just an addition on there. It's part of the package, but it wasn't there originally. And so you can update that and just add that to uh, to your collection. Got it. Got it. Yeah, I think I know. I think I noticed that too. It was uh, it was either if you wanted you want to play the extended version, or and I was like, I didn't notice that that was even there the first time uh, that I downloaded the movie. Um, I I think the the Cloudscape is definitely the way to go if you have a you know if you only have a good home theater, you're only as good as the source. So um, you know why not feed it the best fuel possible? You're only going to hear things that you didn't hear before and and see things much sharper. Um, I couldn't say, you know, more great things about Classcape. I think it's an amazing, amazing uh, way to watch movies. Absolutely, it, it you know, you, just the experience because the you, it's more engaging. It, it doesn't necessarily make sense uh, logically that just adding better pixels and better audio is going to make the film feel better to you, but it really does. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you've ever watched something in a theater and you've ever watched a move that same movie on your phone on an airplane it's like you're you're just not engaged with that movie in the same way you're not engulfed in that type of experience so i think that's definitely one thing to get the movie experience in your home theater to my point you're just going to hear things you didn't hear before um and and the, the picture is just so much sharper uh, yeah so and another uh Think about upgrades. So some of the updates are free updates, um, said with audio tracks and things. But the other thing that also happens is that movies, uh, studios finally go and remaster a, a title. So Pulp Fiction is a great example that you know, that was a great movie, been out for a long time, but it wasn't available in 4K. And because the studio needs to go back and and 
retransfer the film to get all of those pixels into a larger format. And so you know, that was just released a couple of weeks ago. And so we released that as an update. If you already own that, then the cost of upgrading it is an incremental cost. It's not like you said with discs, you know, if I want the 4K version, I got to go and buy now the whole 4K disc and own two copies of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, so, now uh, the, the upgrades are um, Pulp Fiction was one. I know Saving Private Ryan was was another earlier this year. Um, that uh, that was a good one. A um, lot of cool things on Cladiscape. I uh, can't wait to see what other features that you guys will, will bring out, hopefully in the near future, um, with some things that, um, yeah, a lot, lot to look forward to, I'm sure. Yep, there always is. Awesome. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All exactly. right, guys. Well, I appreciate your time today. And uh, thank you for coming on and educating our clientele on why Kaleidoscape is the ultimate movie player. And it isn't just the audio and the video. I mean, all those little features really make it an experience, which is what we're trying to do here at Dream Media. You know, we want you guys to to sit down and, and experience something special with your family and friends. All right, guys, that is a wrap. Big thanks to the Kaleidoscape team for hopping on and giving us the rundown on what makes Kaleidoscape the ultimate movie player. It really says something whenever you can label your movie player the ultimate movie player. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deep dive into Kaleidoscape. If you are interested in purchasing, be sure to reach out today and show your support. We ship throughout the entire nation and would love the opportunity to earn your business. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.